Hello, and welcome to Caleb's Cookbook. Today, I will be making cake pops. First, you will need wooden dowels, any type of frosting, candy melts, two bags, and box cake mix or any cake mix that you have. So I have my cake pre-baked, and now what you do is you take it, and you just dump it into, using your hands, it's okay if you use your hands, just make sure they're washed. And take it and put it into your bowl. Now it doesn't matter how much it breaks up, because the next step is actually to uh, break it apart. So now that it's fully, um, you know, crumbled, you can take a spoon and just scoop out a big scoop of your frosting and then mix it together. The way that you'll know that you have added enough frosting is when you can take it and kind of just form it into a ball shape without it completely crumbling together. Kind of like kind of like that. About two scoops, two heaping scoops of frosting should be should do it. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your cake, kind of roll into a ball about the size of a ping pong ball or golf ball, and just put onto your tray and do that with all of your batter. Once you're done with your cake balls, take a tall cup and pour in your candy melts until it's about almost all the way full, I'd say, and then just melt it in the microwave until fully melted. Make sure every 30 seconds, stir and repeat. Just After it's fully melted, it will probably go down in volume. So you probably wanna do add a little bit more and then just have to like that, gently stir in. And normally it will melt, but if you need to put it in the microwave again, then you can do that. Just make sure not to over microwave or else it might burn or just not taste good. After that's completely melted, dip your wooden dowel into the candy melts and then just put it into the cake ball about halfway. This one's sure that when it hardens, it won't fall out. For this next step, you're probably gonna need another tray. Now, for each cake pop, you're going to need to dump it or in, press it down, kind of just swirl it around. Oh, didn't work, but sometimes it does that and you're just gonna have to retrieve it out with a fork. Now, if that ends up happening, I suggest putting your cake pops in the freezer so that it will just be an extra little bit cold and it will actually be able to stay on much better. Okay, so I have the cake pops nice and frozen, so shouldn't do that again, hopefully. But let's see. So you just put it in, kind of swirl it around, turn it like that, right? So it's fully covered. And take it out. Kind of scrape off the excess if you want. And then Put on your Zunum foil. Once you're done coating your cake pops, put them in the fridge for one hour and enjoy. So it's been a day and I gave some of the cake pops to my friends and here's one of them. Uh, I think they look really nice and they taste delicious and all my friends um, said they were amazing. So I definitely recommend this recipe. Um, it's really simple, really easy. Just as long as you are careful with the cake pops not getting dropped in the candy melts, then it's really not that hard.